Welcome back to the show. And as I said before the break, when it comes to uh, getting help, when it's uh, psychology in particular and mental health issues, it really should be a right and not a privilege. And our next guest is going to speak to just that. We're joined by Dr. Karen Cohen. Welcome to the show. Thank it's great you. to have you here. Glad and to you be have here. A, an, an ongoing campaign mm -hmm. that you're working with at the moment that has two components to it. Yep. Before we get to that, let's talk about the importance of it being a, a right and, and not a privilege. Sure, absolutely. So February is Psychology Month, and basically as the National Association representing the country's psychologists. We're working with our partners in provinces and territories to raise awareness about mental health issues and also raise awareness once we start talking about mental health issues to get people to thinking about where are the gaps? Are they getting the helps and, and supports that they need? Right. We know that when it comes to mental health, um, the most common problems experienced by the one in five people who will have a mental health problem in a given year are depression, anxiety, and psychological treatments are very robust and evidence-based effective treatments for those conditions. They're not covered by our public health insurance plans, right. and we'd like to see that change so that people who need care actually get effective care that works. This is really the next step, as you mm -hmm. said. We, we have opened up a, a, about it quite a bit, and yep. it's been very refreshing to see. But the next step really is when somebody is in a crisis situation, they don't know, have anywhere to go, yep. right? Yep. They don't and what are some of the speak? benefits of, of sort of uh, as you say, catching this and, and, and yeah. nipping it in the bud and, and getting the help that you need. Yeah. We know certainly when it comes to mental health problems, the majority of them start before young adulthood. We know that outcomes are better when you identify problems earlier and you intervene earlier. Um, so getting people the care they need when they need it is really, really important. And so folks who um, you know, have income or they have extended health insurance plans through employment are going to have an easier time accessing that kind of help right. than people who don't. And that, that's a problem. And it certainly can be, I mean, it's quite expensive to get the, the help that you need oftentimes. And uh, as you said, for a lot of people in low income to yep. even even middle income, they, yep. they can't uh, often yep. afford it. There are certainly some services provided by publicly funded agencies, whether they're in hospitals or community clinics. But by and large, the service of psychologists outside of hospitals are not covered. And, and so what, it creates a challenge. What can we do to help mm -hmm. bring about the so access to services and, and whatnot? Terrific. And that, that brings us back to the campaign. So we're hoping that um, folks will get in touch with their provincial and territorial governments and let them know that sec access to psychological treatments is, uh, should be a right and not a privilege. So you want so a writing campaign yes, as a yeah. big part of this. Go right? on the website, www.mymh.ca, and you'll get all the information you need to be able to access your uh, elected official. Okay. Um, we've, we've had uh, tremendous success this year, and I'm going to give one to each of you. Excellent. Folks Great. wearing t-shirts and taking Thank pictures you. and tweeting uh, it of themselves to support okay. the campaign and talking to their friends and family about it, letting people know um, how important it is and the help that can result. Well, of course, it's not as much of a taboo as it has been in the yeah, past with celebrities great. and athletes coming forward and, and mm -hmm. discussing. So, which yeah, is this great. is a great awareness campaign with the t-shirt, so make sure you post your picture. Yeah, and we're seeing some of the pictures, mm -hmm. so you've obviously yep. gotten a, a lot of people ar across the country, and well-known yep. people as well, and that yeah, makes really. a big difference, it does. right? It does. It really does. We've actually, uh, we've done a terrific job this year, doubling our likes and followers, and um, we've had a doubling. lot more photos. Doubling, fantastic. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. so it's really, it's really taking off, which is great. And uh, you've got, um, the part of the campaign is on Twitter as well, you yep. can hashtag as yep. well the... Uh, MYMH. Exactly, mm -hmm. and uh, post up your, your photo as well, and I I think the most important thing that you're saying here is that we really have to make sure that the people that control the health care system know that we want this to be a part of the health care system. Absolutely. Dr. Cohen, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. Thank you really for having me. Really appreciate it. Don't thank go you. away. 